never do that with your filters. What's up guys, Sachendra here back with another video and this video is super pumped. I love going out, I love going uh, in the wild, you know, filming stuff. Of course, that haven't happened lately. But then when it comes to video, um, you have to have a few principles right to get the exact motion blur and to get the best out of your camera. And a basic rule of video is to always keep your shutter speed double your frame rate. For example, if you're uh, filming at 24 frames per second, you have to keep your uh, shutter speed at 50. That has to be a stationary thing because that would give you the most motion blur uh, in the whole scene. And if you are shooting at 60 frames per second, you have to keep your uh, shutter speed at 120. So basically double whatever your frame rate is. It's good when um, the light is controlled, but then when you are shooting outside, uh, especially in harsh daylight, keeping your shutter speed at that low would like completely wash out the whole scene. Um, what you can do is you can actually crank up uh, your uh, aperture uh, to maybe f14 or something, but then you will not get that dynamic range that blur the, the out of focus backgrounds if you have that, especially if you are having like a, a 1.4 or a 2.8 lens, you will not get uh, that kind of, uh, you know, separation, which is bad for video. I mean, it works in some circumstances, but especially in most circumstances, it will not work. That's where ND filters comes in. ND filters are really, really expensive. Uh, there are knockouts as well, uh, but then um, I don't think they work as much as we would love them to work. So I came across a company called uh, KNF. Um, so this is a Chinese company that has reasonably priced uh, ND filters. This filter that I bought is from ND2 to ND400. That means roughly, if I'm not mistaken, eight stops of light. So it will cut down eight stops of light uh, if you are shooting harsh environments. Uh, but I read a, quite a good reviews in this in YouTube. So then I thought like, okay, we can uh, test this out. Of course, there are better ND filters like the Polar Pro Peter McKinnon version. That's very expensive right now, but uh, that, that would be like a dream that I have. Peter, if you are looking, maybe you toss something out to Sri Lanka for one of your biggest fans in Sri Lanka, I think. So. Um, Anyhow, uh, this arrived today um, and then I just took it out and uh, tested, tested it a bit uh, in the daytime. So it comes with this uh, nice uh, hard shell kind of a thing. The only complaint that I have is that this hard shell doesn't have any kind of a protective form. Um, so the filter is like see, going here and there, uh, which actually freaks me out. But in terms of the filter itself, the build quality is superb. I really love it. It is made out of metal uh, and um, it has this kind of a textured edge that you uh, can actually turn. Uh, yeah, I think you can see. Yeah, yeah, see? All right. So you can actually use to turn and there is no play whatsoever with these cheap ND filters you feel a play because practically uh, what this is two layers of uh, polarized glasses that is closing and limiting light that comes to your lens in terms of the build quality i am really happy with this so it is made out of metal um, and in their website they say it's scratch resistant as well although i'm not going to try that uh, but then it's very durable it feels very du durable it doesn't feel cheap at all um, even the turn is very damped. Uh, I don't know in, in uh, hard use when times to come whether this will be um, uh, whether this will not be the case. But then again, with every product that is the case. So um, I would I really love uh, the decision that I made uh, in terms of purchasing this. I haven't tried this outdoors as much as I want to. So keep. Uh, tabs on that I would really do a video um, on in terms of how the usability of this and also since these uh, filters are really expensive if you have like few um, lenses you don't need to uh, actually buy separate uh, ND filters for each lens because they have different diameters 
um, in the front element. Um, so what I went ahead and did was, so I bought this kind of uh, adapter rings. So what they do is they are like step up adapters. For example, if you have a, a lens that has uh, the front element diameter of 49, um, you can join few of these and then turn it into a 77 because this filter is a 77 uh, millimeter filter so you can use it in your other uh, lenses as well so um, in terms of uh, the build quality of these adapter rings as well these are built out of aluminium so it feels very good um, because uh, if it was made out of something like a plastic kind of a thing it would really uh, be cheaper but anyhow, uh, I'm still to check on this, but I must say that this would be a really good investment for anyone who's trying to do outdoor shoots, um, because I have come across a, a lot of uh, people who actually cranks out their aperture uh, to f14, f22 or whatever the limit that they have with their aperture and then um, actually sorting out the issue. But then again, you will not get that exact separation of your um, background, foreground and you, yourself your subject so definitely invest on this i cannot recommend you to buy this still because i haven't tested it as much as i want to but from the 5-10 minutes i was with this um, it really feels good in terms of build quality don't have a problem it is really good of course i haven't tried the peter mccannin ones but i think this is also in in a similar quality at least the only grudges that I have with this is that this does not stop in maximum and minimum. It just rotates all in all. So um, that is kind of a problem that uh, I have with this because I think the PM version with Polar Pro um, actually has uh, stops. Uh, it actually stops and it has a tactile feel uh, like, you know, a small ticking feel so that you know exactly when you are at a stop. This doesn't have it, but then again, Again, you have to think of uh, price uh, of these two uh, comparisons. The PM version is really expensive, at least for us in Sri Lanka, it's really expensive. Uh, for the issue that I have uh, with this box, uh, having a bit of a play and no foam padding, I don't know, KNF, if you are watching this, I don't know whether you actually do this or um, there has to have a padding and you guys didn't send it to me. Please, if you guys didn't send it to me, send it to me with a few goodies. So uh, what I do is I take a lens cloth or a spectacle cloth or whatever that is. You just wrap it around. You don't really need to. Um... So the worst thing that can happen is scratching the glass uh, because this is going to be the front element uh, when you are using it. So you want that glass to be mint. So guys, I will definitely put a review video um, once I get to use this product as much as I want to and then I can maybe do a recommendations. If you guys use uh, the same uh, KNF filters, let me know in the comments below what you guys think, what are your experiences, or if you have a better recommendation, a better brand, let me know. I am definitely going to try that and uh, give you the reviews uh, for sure. And as always, thank you very much for sticking around. A like and a subscribe is very much appreciated. My goal is to monetize this channel by the end of this year. That is my goal and I really want you guys to help me out with that. Having said that, have a safe life. Corona is bad. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.